Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Her Journey to Self podcast. My name is Tamara and I am your host. I first want to send so much love to all of you listening and wish you peace. This week, this week, this week, this week has been full of anxiety because of the election. It is currently Thursday afternoon as I am recording this. So we are all on edge and we are all feeling it no matter where our views lie. So I just wish you peace. We have seen and heard so much craziness this year. I feel like this week is the climax of the story of 2020. (laughs) So I hope that you are all doing well, which brings me to today's episode. We are talking about anxiety. Um, For me, anxiety feels like uneasiness. At times, it can feel like panic and a whole lot of stress. There's also a physical response. I feel it in my stomach. I feel it in my chest. My breathing becomes really shallow. It just feels like heaviness. Now, thankfully, I've never suffered with panic attacks. I've never been diagnosed with an anxiety disorder. Thank God. (laughs) I'm really grateful for that. And medical professionals say that anxiety is a normal and often healthy emotion. They define it as an emotion characterized by feelings of tension, worry thoughts, and physical changes. So I want to talk about the normal feelings of anxiety. I want to be very clear about that. We're not going to get into anxiety disorders that is out of my scope. Okay, so we're talking about the normal emotions of anxiety. And I think that it is important for us to have tools in place. It's like the saying goes, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Again, take inventory of what your triggers are and what leads to a place of grief so that we don't create or continue to repeat bad habits. So these are just a few things that I try to lean on in those moments I don't always do them. (laughs) As you know, I am not perfect. I am on a journey. I'm a work in progress, you know. And going back to the comfort and pain episode, I sometimes want to ignore how I'm feeling or try to mask what I'm feeling with bad habits. And I know that's not healthy for me. So these are just a few of the things that I try to do instead. So the first one is worship. I believe in God. He sustains me. He strengthens me. And worship just lifts your spirit. Spirit, I have consistently <laughs> had Voice of God by Dante Bo on repeat for like the last two or three weeks. I love that song. There's just some songs that hit you differently. Oh, and that has been the song for me right now. I listen to it every morning while I'm doing my devotional. It is so good. I feel like worship is food for your spirit. If you are trying to grow your connection with God, worship, worship, worship. The next one is music, just music in general. I've always been the type of person who loves music. I wish life was a musical. (laughs) I wish we could all walk around with the theme music of our life just playing. You know, if I'm having a mellow day, maybe my theme music is like some neo soul or some R&B or some alternative R&B, you know, if I'm feeling myself, maybe throw on some Beyonce, you know. (laughs) That would just be great. So whatever makes you feel good or whatever causes you to reflect, whatever sets that tone, turn it on and zone out. The next one is breath work. Now, as an actress, I've always done a lot of breathing exercises as a warm up. You need to warm up your vocal instrument. But I've really started to look into breath work as a practice in life. I actually did a virtual session 
Um, a few weeks back with Black Girls Breathing, I think you should check her out. She does a lot of good stuff for the community, especially right now during these times. She's really focused on healing, especially for us Black girls. So check it out, Black Girls Breathing. Um, but just a simple, deep breath can instantly start to shift your mood or your physical position because oftentimes anxiety creates so much tension in our bodies you're closed off so just taking a breath taking a deep breath opens you up you start to release the negative so you can receive the positive you guys have been listening for a while now. You know that I'm all about letting go of all of those things that do not serve you so that you have space. You have space to take in all of those positive things. If you watch me on YouTube at Tamara J. Morris, shameless plug, you know that I do a series called Monday's Motivational Minute. And this past week's episode was about taking a mental break from everything that's happening in society. And I mentioned, how can you share light if all you consume is the darkness? And that even relates to how we respond to our triggers or our emotions, you know. How can we expect to transform our lives and, you know, surround ourselves with positive images and positive thoughts and positive conversations if we ourselves are surrounding ourselves with our own negative thoughts and negative conversations, you know, release the negative things so that you can take in the positive things truly. The next is journaling. And I mentioned that I used to journal all of the time and I'm trying to get back into it. I am trying. I think the struggle is confronting my feelings. Once you put something in writing, it feels really real. <laughs> it almost feels tangible. The act of doing it can feel scary because you are starting the commitment to face your emotions and starting the healing process. And it's not easy. If it were, we would all be walking around living our best lives, okay? Sometimes we're not ready to start that process. So once we do, we can face feelings of resistance. You know, I mentioned that in the episode before, having that feeling of resistance, not really wanting to go after transformation because you know there's fear aligned with that as well but just starting there writing about that resistance can lead you to the path to really start to reveal those underlying issues so I'm a huge proponent of journaling get those feelings out <laughs> next is serving others and this one is so good I still surprise myself when this happens to me. When I'm in a mood, I typically call my mom or my sister and not to necessarily tell them what's going on with me or to vent, but just to talk to them because it makes me feel good. But it's even better when they need some words of encouragement. When I begin to speak life into someone else, it immediately lifts my mood. It happens all of the time and it could change my perspective on my own situation. Sometimes I think you need to go outside of yourself to see clearly. So take a break from what's bothering you and then return to it when you're in a healthier state of mind. That's usually the case for me after serving someone else. So focus on how you can serve how can you help someone else? The next is exercise. Moving your body feels so good to the soul. And, you know, it could be an intense workout or it could just be a gentle yoga flow. For me, it really depends on how I'm feeling and what I think I need in that moment. So it changes. And it doesn't have to be confined to the definition of what exercise is is just start to move your body, you know? <laughs> Even if you're watching, you saw I did a little shimmy or something. <laughs> Even that, like, just brought a smile into my face. And, you know, it started to lift my mood. Even though I'm kind of in a good mood already, but... <laughs> um, and you may end up choreographing a whole dance routine, whether you're a dancer or not. 
I think that you just need to be open to it. Listen to your body and tap into whatever it needs at that moment. And the final one is self-care. Self-care is so important and it looks different to all of us. It's so easy for us to neglect ourselves either indirectly or directly, especially when we're going through. So cater to yourself. And that could be reading a book, taking a walk, taking a long hot shower, soaking in a bathtub, painting your nails, just lighting some candles to set some type of ambiance, watching a really good movie. It literally could be anything. What makes you feel good? What feels you up? These are just a few ways to combat anxiety. We shouldn't have to feel prisoner to our own minds and thoughts and circumstances. I know that I said it at the top of the episode and I'm going to say it again. This year has been hard. It has been heavy. It has been overwhelming. We cannot deny that, but let's not deny it ourselves. Let's stay on this journey. Let's continue to thrive. I really hope that you guys have been encouraged. I completely changed this week's episode because I really just felt in my spirit that I needed to speak somewhat to anxiety. And it's not a heavy episode at all. You know, I wanted to create some type of lightness for you all for this week because I know I've definitely been feeling it. So I'm pretty sure you all are feeling it too. And before we go, I also want to announce that I will be a part of a poetry fundraising event on a 11 called Poetathon. My homegirl, Mache Cole, is raising money for her film Bind, which I was part of the play version a few years ago. It is happening on November 11th via Instagram live from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. This is going to be an excellent day full of (laughs) self-care, if you will, if you really, you know, align with just art you know, so I think that that would be a great time to really let go of all the craziness that's happening (laughs) and enjoy some artists. You can tune in on her Instagram at Mache Cole. She has gathered some amazing artists to come and share. And I hope that you all will tune in. I will leave all of the information in the show notes. So again, thank you so much for listening to today's episode. Please head on over to Apple Podcasts to leave a review. I would greatly appreciate it. It also helps the show to grow. You can also leave a voice review on the Anchor app. Also, head on over to YouTube at Tamara J. Morris where you can watch the show. So join the family over there as well. Continue to share it out with all of your friends, your family, your loved ones, whoever you feel will greatly appreciate and be touched by the episodes. We are at Her Journey to Self on Instagram. So come and hang out with us over there too. Stay safe out there. Remember that your testimony is not for yourself. It is for the world. Until next time, peace, love, and light.